Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's me, Kevin, and I am back on my blind playthrough of Control. We're playing Control, uh, you know, like, it's pretty much 2023 here. My favorite game of the year was Alan Wake 2, and there appears to be a connected universe, so I wanted to come back and play Control to, like, uncover the connected universe stuff, and there's quite a bit, man. Remedy is making a very, very, very cool world. And right now, we're doing a mission... We were supposed to go to the prime candidate program. Jesse goes back to Central Executive to reunite with her brother, Dylan. Or Dylan, changed by the hiss, tells Jesse to go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector to discover the ugly truth about the bureau. Jesse agrees, but in truth, she plans to go there to look for the slide projector, the object of power Dylan revealed to be the cause of the hiss invasion. Is that going to give me the last ability? I think it's it's called shield. I'm pretty sure it's called shield because we have uh, something right here that's a shield boost. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, the FPC, though, obviously it was the massive first connection that, you know, I noticed, of course, from Island Wake and Control. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector so will. Coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. I, the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six. And the sister as well, I mean, once we catch up with her. But the, the boy, that's so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. It's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. There was an incident. Yes. a valuable member of our team, yes. One of his assistants? He has a force. Dylan has so much. But he's, he, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Robert's got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Dude, you know what I realized too? Like it was, it was, it was like always like, I wanna say bothering me, but I just couldn't help but rec recognize that actor's voice, right? And come to realize he voices Alan Wake in Alan Wake games. The physical actor is like, I think he's like Finnish. So he has like an incredibly heavy accent. So that dude is the actual voice entire, like he voiced the entire um, Alan Wake, um, you know, Alan Wake 1 and 2 as Alan. Is Wait. this what Dylan wanted me to see? In here, P7? Matter. We need to find that projector. Outfits, Prime 7 candidate. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. How did she, I mean, first of all, how did she even get away? Uh, by the way, look, in the middle right side, it says coffee soap. I think that, in that, that's Seinfeld. <laughs> that's like the Seinfeld coffee shop. Coffee soap, that's weird. But uh, yeah, like how, how could she just kind of get away? I'm trying to see if there's any here that like, I mean, some of these photos, 
Dude, hold up. Look, second from the top right. And it sure as hell looks like her as the janitor. What the hell? Like in Audi's getup. Last scene was in a bookstore. Why well, say urgent? File these. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, but why is she wearing Audi's outfit? Uh, what am I supposed to be doing, by the way? This is P7. I came in here, we saw that video, that was it? I think we go over there. there. There was a door over here. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time... I remember was... different. We found a way in. Deeper into it, like... It had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things. Oh shit. Things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes. But that has nothing to do with- Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No! That's just stupid! Come on! That has nothing to do with this. Nothing! The slide projector- Let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting? Into a hidden world? Escaping and finding adventure there? Away from your parents? I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. Dude. Don't know. Her psychiatrist is totally FBC. You, you can... It's so obvious. They were like trying to interrogate... Basically interrogate her acting as a psychiatrist. So while she was quote unquote free, you know, they were still like all over her. Okay, well we unlocked a shortcut there. All right, so damn, this takes us to ordinary. What happened in ordinary here? That's the place to start looking. Uh, hello? Where's this guy? Let's see. Damn, dude, we wrecked this place. I hear something. Oh, is there a big fight coming up? The green light here. What's over here? Prime candidate program, level two. Where does this take us? Bitch. 
the house. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. I think he was the control. He was the control subject. What, I forget what you call that in like testing. Controlled versus something. to see there's so much clutter it, that time I saw him and I just missed him <laughs> Control point. It's so red in here. I thought I was gonna get hurt, like walking over here. We're going back home. The New York subway. Of we are. It started there and it's never gone away. I'm, I'm not hurt, right? Why well, is acting like I'm hurt? I'm, I have the thing to get me through all this shit. Remote thought, material. Man, I. I really need. What is it like? Rituals, I impact, or some shit. In fact, actually, I just thought about this. Let's go to the control point and see if I can upgrade any weapons. Like, I really want to upgrade Pierce. Ritual impulse, dude. Come on, game. How about we'll upgrade grip some more? Oh, uh, level three. All right, um, yeah, I have no idea. Ritual impulse must be in, like, I, I have this theory, I don't know if it's true, that the weapon upgrade materials are, like, located in specific areas, like, probably ritual impact, who knows, maybe it's in the research area, you know what I mean? Uh, what is this one? Headshot damage, ooh, 63%. 17, 19% ammo refund. Damage against enemy armor is 80%. Reload speed. Ooh, shit. Done. <laughs> yeah. Reload speed. All right. We're heading this way. Uh, access the or. There's a reload. Oh my god, bitch. He's still firing at me? You're on my side now, dude. Oh god. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Bridge operator? Is this where we go? Those things are like invincible. You can't do anything to destroy them. 
Is this where I was supposed to go? I think so. It won't rotate. Something's blocking it. Something's blocking it. Okay, that thing's over there. It's probably blocking it on this side right here, whatever it is. Can I elevate up? I can't. Which way is it? This way? Yeah. Well, that was easy. Wait, it's showing it's that way. Turntable. Like a music turntable? Guess yeah, so what other kind of turntables are there? shit <laughs> that thing was legit terrifying like I'm playing Alan Wake 2 or some shit here first of all too it like just popped out of nowhere it took 90% of my health and it looked absolutely terrifying doing it <laughs> Tropic Echo dude please just give me some ritual impulse Thing over there. Uh, okay. How do you get over there? Yeah, it's showing. Oh, well, huh? Yeah, how do you get to that? That is interesting. I don't see like any door. What is this noise I'm hearing? I see. somewhere here we go was it right here yeah all right that is that the same elevator we've been taking or no we need to take that I'm assuming huh because nothing else opened up. There's nowhere, nowhere else to go. So I guess we, we gotta take this elevator. Search for the slide projector. So it's an object of power. All object of powers usually give me abilities. You know what? Uh, we're gonna be close range. Let's swap to Shatter. And is this the best thing we have for Shatter? 
What is this? Recoil minus 30%, spread minus 19%, ammo refund uh, chance. What do we have? Projectiles fired. I can't see, dude. There's so much clutter. <laughs> Bitch! How did, how did that not hit him? Where'd he go? It did hit him. That was weird. His health bar didn't go away, though. We, we were back. Yeah, we were already here. So was this what we were supposed to do? Or is this just like a, maybe this just kind of looks like the area we've been in? But maybe not the area we've been in? Let's read that. I want to read that one. Uh, ordinary stage eight, 1A dump witness testimonies. The first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. Uh, Jesse Faden, Dylan Faden. I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. Note. Likely Neil Hosenberg missing. It was mean. He had asthma, Tom, note, likely Tom Barlow missing. And his gang, Freddy, note, likely Frederick Bartwell missing. Hugo, note, no one by this name was found in public records, bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Dylan Faden, 2002, extrapolated information, unconfirmed existence of additional slide, designation house. Is there a thing in here? Oh, here we go. Ordinary. Ordinary. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. That first guy with us was our first caller. Hi. What I'm about to tell you is they found out, I don't know what would happen. If who found out, brother? The men in the suits. They told me it wasn't industrialized. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, Colin. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language caller at maybe 2 a.m. But we're still a family show. I, I'm sorry. It's just my brother was there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm... I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Fort Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing the run of horses, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. Good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. Was that, that was like the propaganda show. <laughs> Controlled by the FBC, I believe. Ordinary summary. 
Okay, an AWE altered world event occurred in the town of Ordinary caused by an object of power, a slide projector, discovered by local children at the dump outside of town. When a specific set of slides are used in the projector, the projected images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. On August 30th, 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, CP6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, CP7 materials, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector. COP15 case file for Darling presentations blank for details. A team led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived at the site on September 14th. The AWE had ended, but the team found the fade and children who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to, to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. The interviews. Man, they're still alive. You know, I kind of wondered. As you, I don't think this is the case. I was kind of wondering, do more of these disappear, these redacted things, like the more clearance you get? That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Like, you could start to see more on the stuff you read. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Or die trying. I'm starting to notice that the assistants don't show up in the videos anymore. Uh, 4A, okay. We missed two and three, apparently. Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. More of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. So I'm assuming the dung monkeys are like the FBC. They were just about to get us, but then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog, like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. She promised to help. This is the... Um, oh, God, what is it called? The thing that's talking to her. That's helping her, apparently. What does she call it? Um, I forgot. Something like the North Star. Jesse said we should call her Polaris. <laughs> there it is. Uh, it's because she was doing stars at school. She was doing stars. Extrapolated information. Additional slide designation hand is verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity design designation dog Neil. Alright. Did I miss two and three? Or we just haven't got there yet. And no, we saw that. Evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? 
Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Robert. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. What will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! hey uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... Damn, dude. Were they, like, trying to, you know, piss him off? Because, uh, you know, to see if he has, like, you know, anger issues. All right, stage two. After what happened at school to Mr. Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw, they, saw where they took the projector. Tom and his troglodytes were using troglodytes. Isn't he, like, 10 years old? Or I, I don't know when they're having this interview. I Actually, I, this may be a little later. Oh, this is Jesse, I guess, a little bit later. Yeah, look, it's like eight years later, so maybe she's like 19, okay. Tom and his troglodytes were using the Sled Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. They've been using the temple slide, we call it that, but really it was a broken concrete thing, like a warehouse or a bomb shelter, like where we are. Like the FPC building here or something, very dark. The not mother lived there with her, her babies, children, I don't know. She was feeding Tom and the others her milk. They were changing into little monsters. We called them dung monkeys. Okay, well, never mind. The dung monkeys aren't the FBC. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation temple. Unconfirmed existence. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation not mother. What does that mean? Like, is that an alternate creature to Polaris or is that Polaris? All right, we got another control point. We finished a board measure. I forgot about these. Uh, these are all level ones. They're worthless. There we go, level four. That's in the maintenance sector though. This rangers. What is this one? Mold host? I don't know if we'll find that. We're not in the maintenance sector. Ooh, level five and shatter mode. I'm in sh shatter mode, yeah. Can I, I would like to actually upgrade shatter. Remote thought, okay. I'm gonna find remote thought stuff. One B. The second slide we called the meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. 
It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control and the dreams, everything was melting. And then when we'd come out, everything that had melted around the projector. Neil was really into it. We found out he's been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He took his goons. He and his goons took it. We thought Neil had got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation meadow. Let's see what they have on ordinary. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. Damn, do we go to a town? Like an actual town? Stage four. Stage three, stage two. Stage one. This is the dump. Where do we go? This way? <laughs> Bitch! Throw that shit at me. Am I gonna shot from behind? It's like... There must be the Rick and Shane bullets I'm hearing. <laughs> Miss this guy? Are you kidding me? What is this? It didn't. It... Where is it? Dude! By Thomas Zane? Yes. What? Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker yeah. who moved here in the 60s named Thomas Zane. What? I don't know, matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself? I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um... It's... this... I feel... an emptiness. A yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No! No. Dooley's not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? That you believe Polaris caused? No! 
It wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Just saying. No! It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Dude, she's committed, huh? The psychiatrist said we can't let you go. Like she's being restrained or... Dude. So how'd she get out? Okay, how'd she get out? Ordinary supplement. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden and the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. Example, Dylan Faden claims there were eight slides for the projector. Jesse Faden mentioned nine slides. The Bureau found one intact slide, designation 36, and the burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning these slides. Notes, Dr. Darling has ordered that the entirety of the town dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Due to the limited space in the investigation sectors, this AWE will be investigated in the containment sector. So that must be what's in the center of containment, is the dump. The uh, ground zero. There it is, huh? Move the whole landfill here in the middle of New York. Nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. Dump cessation. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to stop effectively immediately. Resources will be allocated to the blank department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects before that time. Any photographic slides, the type used in slide projectors found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. So, this is the dump, huh? Did I get it? I think I got it. You died there. There's more. What was that? I saw it too, I couldn't move. Did he get his? Oh, dude, his shield comes back, bro. Okay, hold on. Let's swap this for Pierce. Uh, dude, what? Please, come on, dude. A 
it takes so long to recharge. This is just frustrating. Oh shit. You know, it makes me. I forgot that I have uh, this ability. Oh, bam! Dude, I forgot I had that. That shit is so badass. I'm gonna use that. Gotta remember to use that shit. Alright, what was it? Search for Darling's Lab. What's over here, though? Mobile Lab. That's the lab, right? Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. What was... What was with Dylan look like that? Finish Tango? The dark... A dark place. A dark place? Yeah, like Alan Wake? So we got a bunch of new missions. Is there a control point like nearby? Where am I? I'm at the turntable. Looks like there's one to my left over there. So what do, what do we have for missions now? Uh, search for the slide projector. Okay, that was a dark place. Investigate the sector elevator. We should check this out though, because this keeps, this takes us to all these different areas. So I would like to see what that does. We finished a uh, thing here. Ooh, we got new abilities. We never found shield. I, I guess, do we? Did I just flat out miss that? I don't care about C's, elevates in a good spot. Complete mission seven, the face of an enemy. That kind of popped up late. Didn't I already do that? We have uh, three still left. Probably a little more health. That took it all. Board countermeasures, we finished that. We got a level five charge blast boost. Uh, in the research sector, it sounds like we're heading to research. So we'll equip that. So right, there was just really two things to focus on. I think we'll we'll go ahead and do the dark place first before we go towards the finish tango. Which I don't know, we might be getting towards the end of the game. But we'll go ahead and call the video there. All right, man. So we're <laughs> we're making progress. Where we uh, just need to hunt down the slide projector. Now they talked about uh, Thomas Zane. So there's another huge tie into Alan Wake. And I wonder if the slide projector. I mean, Alan or uh, Thomas Zane was a filmmaker. So I wonder if that slide projector is related to him. But uh, I don't know. We'll figure all that out on the next episode. See you there.